Every, the, the easy ones about real estate, everyone can participate. There is no, it, it, there's nobody that's barred. It's, I, I use it, uh, it's like the um, great craps table of the world. Everybody who can stand on the rail is equal. If you can stand against the rail, uh, the table does not care. You can put on, you can put, you can stand there and hold your chips and never play. All you got to do is be able to stand at the rail. Real estate is the same way. There is no glass ceiling. Nobody is barred. So women excel in real estate investing. <laughs> women make the best investors. We had, a, we had a meeting last year on that. Women absolutely, positively make the best real estate investors. They have a better eye for what needs to be done. They have a better feel for the negotiations. They have a better understanding of when something needs to be sold and when something needs to be changed. They understand who the ultimate buyer of that house is. 99 times out of 100, the female buyer. So there is no glass ceiling to limit women's earnings in real estate. But men it have is. testosterone, so we, <laughs> we just charge right in. Charge right in there and tear stuff up. <laughs> it is absolutely colorblind and there is no age limit. Real estate investing does not, it, there is nothing that makes any difference. You can, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that I will get to be the proof that you can invest when you're 85 years old, that's my goal, be investing on my 85th birthday. I want to buy and sell something on my 85th birthday. But it doesn't make any difference if you've done the analysis, and this is what really is always interesting to me about this particular topic. If you have the market knowledge and you understand the asset under which, upon which you have control, and you understand why you have control of it, Nobody really cares about your presentation. They don't really care if you're wearing $300 slacks and $1,000 loafers. They don't care whether you're in um, a Ch uh, Chanel dress. They do not care at all. I wore a Chanel dress. He said, Green Agent. I said, I bet they care if I wore a Chanel dress. <laughs> but what they. But the ability to manage that transaction, and, and, it, and Todd's point is right, if Todd came in wearing a Chanel dress but he had the right deal, they would still do business with it. They would talk about it afterwards, but they would still do business. <laughs>